What's up guys, welcome to my first tutorial in Sony Vegas. Uh, this is going to be a beginner's tutorial, and I'm going to try to help you guys out a lot, so uh, let's get started. So first thing you're going to see when you open up Sony Vegas is uh, this kind of window here. You're going to see a lot of stuff. Alright, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you out here, I'm going to help you organize it around. So, uh, you see over here, this master volume control. You're really not going to need that, okay? And if you do need it, you can you can access it a different way. But it's just kind of taking up space, so uh, you can just go ahead and click X right here, and it's gonna get, uh, it's gonna free up some more space for your video. This is this is where your video goes, okay? Um, and then this giant gray uh, berry box in the middle here, which is the uh, trimmer. You don't really need that either, okay? So you can X out of that. Uh, and from that point on, you're pretty much where you need to be. You can drag. You can use. The, these little double arrows right here in between segments to drag around as you can see so you can free up more space for your video and it shrinks down of course uh, I prefer to have it right here okay and then you can drag here this is going to uh, change your space here on for your timeline so I'm right about maybe here is good and then over here if you go to explore you can see you can drag around and just make adjustments so it's it's kind of personal preference guys on my layout it looks like that okay so that's my layout okay so the first thing I'll go over here is these tabs right here you see project media explore transitions video effects media generators uh, so what do these mean so project media um project media is kind of kind of a pointless tab you're not really going to need it too often so don't worry about it uh, that's kind of advanced but it really doesn't come in handy that much explore this is one of the most important tabs in Sony Vegas uh, as you might have guessed this is where you go to uh, look through your, your files on your computer so if you need to find a video clip you look through here or whatever you need to find music uh, transitions you can probably figure that one out yourself uh, just transitions between clips Video effects, same thing. Just effects for videos, kind of. You can you know that probably. Uh, media generators. Now this one's kind of weird. And here I don't. You might use it often. You might not. It just depends on your style. But uh, you have things in here like checkerboard. You have color gradients, which can come in handy. Uh, your credit rolls. So if you're doing like short films or whatnot, uh, credits. These are going to be important for you. Noise textures really not that useful. They kind of, kind of one of the most disappointing things of uh, Vegas. They kind of look bad, but uh, you can use them decently. It's possible. A pro type titler, just titles text. This is a add-on. Solid colors. It seems really basic, but they do come in handy. Uh, these just patterns just for testing, I guess. Titles and text, once again, just text. You got some animations. Most of them are kind of cheesy, but there's a few that are pretty nice. So these are nice to use. And then some more text. Uh, these are kind of the old ones from back in the day in Vegas, but still pretty useful. Uh, so, yeah, guys. So, first up, I'll show you guys the basics of actually using a clip and editing it in the timeline. So, I have two two uh, stock footage clips here, and I'll drag them in and see what we can do. All right, so here's this uh, stock footage of an orange, and here's a stock footage of a tractor, and we'll drag them together. Now the you can see here that the uh, tractor footage doesn't have any sound, but the orange footage actually does, but it doesn't really there's not much to it. So this is one of the more confusing things in Vegas. This is one of the things that most people don't figure out, but if you want to get rid of sound on a clip, all right, <clears throat> and you and you, uh, you click on the sound and you click delete, it deletes your clip, right? You don't want that. So how are you going to delete that sound without deleting your clip? Well, what you do is, it, most people don't realize this, but what you do is you click on the sound, hit U, and then hit delete. So U ungroups it, because when you drag it in, the, the audio and the clip are grouped and you cannot they're kind of sticking together so you have to hit U to ungroup them alright so now we have two clips uh, just 
back to back you can see if we play through if we play through here it's just the tractor and then the orange right pretty basic uh so some of the more basic things you can do here okay if you want to if you want to scale your clip so if you want to change uh, how long it is right okay so we'll separate these this tractor clip let's say we don't want the ending of this clip so we can put our mouse over the edge click and drag and now we're shrinking the clip pretty basic okay so now it's about the same length as the orange clip so let's say we wanted to uh, you know change the speed right so right now you can see the tractor is kinda slow if we wanted to actually slow it down you hold down control over the edge and I'll keep holding control and you'll see like this little squiggly line and pull it now you don't want to go too far because some videos won't be able to actually it'll be kinda choppy right so don't go too far and you'll see the tractors are now going much slower okay so if you want your video to fade in fade from black or fade out whatever this is how you do it you go up to the corner so if we're fading in you go to the front the uh, very beginning go to the top left corner and you'll see this little icon here and just click and drag to the right and that's creating a fade and that bar right there it shows that's that's the actual level of the video so we'll go about right here and now we have a fade in and you can also do that for the fade out just like that so we have a, a fade out right there so transitions between videos because you, you don't want every transition to be just a, a blank switch like that right so one of the easiest things to do if you want to fade between clips is just take your clip and drag it and overlap it just like that as you can see when we instead of just dropping it here you keep going and it's going to create a fade right there but you know there's there's actually way more transitions to do than that so let's just put it right back there and go to our transitions tab uh, and let's look for a, a nice transition here squeeze down alright so we'll just drag it in right there on the uh, cut in the, in the videos drag them in and it'll get some options so this is gonna be uh, an interface you're gonna see a lot it's your pretty much your options for every kind of effect and transition you uh, you apply so um, yeah so we can pretty much leave it all default here that'll be good as you can see now you get a transition let's say you want that to be slower All right, you just take the clip and drag it this way and as you can see the transition in the middle changes so the overlapping and now you have a longer transition alright okay guys so that's that's part one on the beginners tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed um, if you don't mind if you liked it like smash that like button drop a comment whatever uh, you can PM me if you have any questions and I will certainly respond I love to help so yeah guys thanks for watching and uh, subscribe if you like